Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of differentiation. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that y of alpha is equals to square root of 2 times tan alpha plus cot alpha divided by 1 plus tan square alpha plus 1 over sine square alpha. So we have this entire function given to us where it's telling me alpha belongs to the angles from 3 pi over 4 to pi. And we have been asked to find the derivative of this function with respect to alpha at the value of alpha 5 pi over 6. So let's figure out the solution. And if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us here, they are 4, minus 4, 4 over 3, and minus 1 over 4. So if I try to figure out the answer for this question, let's see how to solve this question further. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis. And it also motivates me to present the solutions to you in the easiest possible way for you to understand them. Let's see the solution. So I have been given a function y of alpha already which is square root of 2 times tan alpha plus cot alpha. So cot alpha, I know it's a reciprocal of tan, so I can write that as 1 over tan alpha. So it becomes tan alpha plus 1 over tan alpha divided by, this becomes 1 plus tan square alpha. So if I use the idea of identity of trigonometry, I know 1 plus tan square theta, it's sec square theta. So 1 plus tan square alpha basically becomes sec square alpha plus 1 over sine square alpha. So I'm writing it as it is. So further, if I try to solve it, I get square root of 2 times. Cross multiplying this gives you tan square alpha plus 1 divided by tan alpha, the whole thing divided by sec square alpha, plus 1 over sine square alpha. Further, if I try to solve it, I know already again that tan square theta plus 1 is sec square theta. So if I see this is going to become sec square theta, this is already sec square theta. Both of them are divided, so this gets cancelled. And once I get this cancelled, I get 2 times 1 over tan alpha left because nothing is left here. So 1 over tan alpha basically makes it cot alpha. So it gives you square root of 2 cot alpha plus 1 over sine square. So cot alpha I get here 2 times cos alpha divided by sin alpha 1 over sin square alpha. So if I multiply both sides, I'll multiply them with sin alpha. And once I multiply both of them with sin alpha, I get this turning out to become 2 sin alpha cos alpha divided by sin square alpha plus 1 which is present. Now, what I'm trying to do here is I have the same denominator, right? So I have the same denominator sine square alpha means this is going to a add. And once I have this, this becomes 2ab. So if I want to write it in the form of expression of whole square, I can add a square plus b square. So it becomes a square plus 2ab plus b square. And a square and b square, if I see, it's going to become sine square and cos square. So if I see addition of them gives you 1. So if I use that identity, I can write just 1 as sine square alpha plus cos square alpha. And since I have a same denominator, which is sine square alpha, I get here sine square alpha plus 2 sine alpha cos alpha plus cos square alpha. And that basically, I can write that as sine alpha plus cos alpha, the whole square, divided by sine square alpha as it is. So I get this entire idea here for this expression. And further, if I try to solve this, taking square root, it can be positive, it can be negative. So I am writing it in the absolute value form. So mod of sine alpha plus cos alpha divided by mod of sine alpha. Now I have this. Now the question, it tells me that alpha 
which is present, it belongs to the angles from 3 pi over 4 till pi. 3 pi over 4, if I see it in the degree mode, multiplying with 180 over pi gives me the angle as 135 degrees and this gives me 180 degrees. So from 135 to 180, if I see for the quadrants, it's going to be in the second quadrant. 135 is exactly 45 degrees or exactly half of the second quadrant. So this is 135 and this is 180 degrees. And in this, if I see in the second quadrant, we already know sine theta is positive. Cos theta is negative. So here I know sine of 90, it's going to be zero and cos of 90, sorry, sine of 90 is going to be one and cos of 90 is going to become zero. And here I know sine of 180 is going to become zero. Cos of 180 is going to become minus one. And at 135, we know sine of 135 degrees it is 1 over root 2, so 0 0.707. And cos of 135 is point minus 0 0.707. So I understand from 135 to 180 degrees, sine theta will be positive, cos theta will be negative for sure. But if I talk about the magnitude of them from 135 to 180, sine theta it's going to be of less magnitude compared to cos theta. So if I am finding the sum of them, this is positive, this is negative, but this being of less magnitude compared to cos theta, sin theta plus cos theta, if I see, it's going to be negative for sure in this range of al angles of alpha. So basically I know sin theta plus cos theta when it is negative, so absolute value, if has the function inside it negative, we multiply it with minus one. So I'll multiply this with minus one for sure, taking it out of the absolute values. And sine alpha, we know at this values of alpha, it's going to be definitely positive. So I'll write it as it is. So I get this value of the function. That is the y of alpha. Now the question further tells me to find the derivative of them at alpha equals to 5 pi over 6. So first let's try to further simplify this idea because sine alpha is divided. I can take separate denominators to both of them. So y of alpha becomes minus out. Let's keep it. Sine alpha divided by alpha which is 1. Cos alpha divided by alpha which is cot alpha. So taking the derivative of that minus derivative of 1 is 0. And derivative of cot alpha, we know it is minus cosec square alpha. So I get minus into minus plus and becomes cosec square. So once I get this as cosec square alpha, the question is further just asking me to find the derivative at the value of angle alpha as 5 pi over 6, which if I convert into degree form, it basically becomes 150 degrees, which is between this. And when it is between these, I can just use that same idea for mod. So I get, I have to just find cosec square at the angle of alpha 5 pi over 6. Basically, that means you have to find the angle or cosec of that angle 5 pi over 6 and square it. So cosec 5 pi over 6 basically makes it 1 over sine 5 pi over 6. And in the terms of 180 degrees, I can write 1 over sine of 180 means 5 pi minus pi over 6, the whole square. And once I have that sine of pi minus theta, it's nothing but sine theta because in second quadrant, sine is positive. So you get from here sine of pi over 6, the whole square. And sine of pi over 6 means sine of 30 degrees, which is already half. So 1 over half the whole square which gives you two square and that turns out to become four. So you get the answer for the question that is asked to us and the answer matches with option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of differentiation. So first we simplified our function as much as possible 
understood the range of the functions in the values of alpha given and then just found the derivative and put alpha as 5 pi over 6 which basically matches with option a and a becomes the correct answer here i hope you understood this i'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we are going to continue our series of questions on jwe mains so stay tuned for more videos to roll out also if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis thank you